Brooklyn Independent Television. When it comes to the sport of soccer, diversity is the word in team. And for LIU, variety is a key to a successful program. The best part about being at LIU is uh, the opportunity to play every day. Um, that's what I love the most, being able to play every day. I decided to come to, to LIU um, mainly because of the guys on the team. The team is you know, a great bunch of guys, the coaches are always there for us. Reflecting on my time at LIU, I would say that uh, you know, the team chemistry was really good. You know, we always did a good job coming together as a group. Being able to step on the field and play with uh, a right back from Louisiana, a left back from Virginia, you know, your central defenders from Holland, midfielders from England, I just thought every time they announced the starting lineup, just how lucky I was, I thought who else gets this opportunity to play with such a diverse team. It was definitely a new experience and one that I was, uh, I was eager to be a part of. I'm from Stafford, Virginia, and uh, you know, it's pretty rural area in some parts. I'm originally from Toronto, Canada. Um, lived there my whole life. I think soccer is very popular in Toronto because of the diversity of the city. Of course, it always has to compete with hockey. Hockey's very big as a sport. Uh, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs, very storied NHL franchise. Growing up in Brooklyn, I mean, I really don't think there's anything better. I mean, the place is, is, is so, it's so big. There's so many different places in Brooklyn and it's, it's, every neighborhood has a different culture. You know, it's very diverse. When I wanted to go to college, the, uh, the decision to stay local was uh, pretty easy for me, you know. Um, I'm real, real Brooklyn zone. You know, I, I decided to go to LIU, which is, uh, you know, a great university, one that has a lot of history. You know, my father is an alumni. He graduated from there. He was on the soccer team, you know, and he has good memories of it. So I thought it was a good pick. The main reason for me was that collegiate athletics back home um, they're there, but they're not taken as nowhere near as seriously as here, uh, similar to the high school, and the skill level is completely different. And I wanted to play somewhere that could, you know, potentially enhance my uh, ability to continue after school, to continue playing soccer, and just to play in a professional-like atmosphere, uh, every day practicing, you know, have top of the line facilities and everything, uh, which is why I wanted to come come to the states. As far as New York City goes, I mean, I had only, you know, I'd only seen it on TV or, you know, seen it on the internet, an opportunity to go to, to go to college in New York City, you know, too good to be true. And I'd never been before. So when he said, Dad, I'm interested in LIU, you know, in the city, I mean, I, I was very particular about him taking several trips up here, one with me, one by himself, one with some friends and ended up bringing his girlfriend up here for the day just to kind of get a feel for what the city was like, fell in love with it. Absolutely fell in love with it. So I'll tell you what, if he's happy, we're happy. Well, when I came in, I, I, didn't, I didn't really know what to expect. My first impression, I wanted to make it the best that I could. And so I wanted to come in fit. I wanted to come in ready to play, you know, which I feel that I did. But again, you know, you're coming to, to the, the Division I level in college, which is you know, the greatest level you can play at besides professional. And one of the most underestimated things about soccer is the intensity in which we work. The post part of our spring season is, is testing. We, we've tested several areas. Out here today we were a little bit more specific. We were, we were testing the vertical jump for power, testing the 10-yard uh, sprint, 40-yard sprint, agility, side-to-side, -side, the ability to go from side-to-side -side, uh, within 10 seconds, how quick they can do. Uh, they can move side to side. As you saw, we also uh, measure the 300-yard shuttle. The 300-yard shuttle uh, measures recovery from the first, second to the third set, uh, how quickly they could recover and be ready to perform the second and the third set. And what we're hoping to do from this information is find out where they're going to be in the fall in terms of their fitness level. The last thing we're going to do is the Brooklyn Bridge Run. Uh, the Brooklyn Bridge Run is just under three miles. It's 2.9 miles. Uh, 
it's an exciting run. They run it for time, and it's, it's a little bit different animal when you run it for time. Running over the Brooklyn Bridge is, uh, I mean, it's tough. Everybody knows what to expect, but man, everybody dreads that day. It's uphill, downhill, and then uphill again. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely tough. It's a good thing that we have all 20 guys on the team doing it together because it, it pushes you, it motivates you. But um, just, just hearing it like, oh, uh, Wednesday, you guys have to run the bridge. It's a total mood kill, but uh, it's uh, it's good in a sense, just because it really it tests your fitness. Uh, you really find out where you are in comparison to the rest of the team, uh, in comparison to where you were in the beginning of the season. I don't know if anybody really understands like how much time and effort we put into into our sport and especially in the classroom. We gotta understand that they're student athletes, they're not athlete students. Even though we're division one, the university has made a major commitment to make sure that we have the resources for them to be successful academically. Our stats in the classroom academically are, are incredible. This past year, our team GPA was number two in the country, 3.44 out of the second highest of all men's soccer programs in the nation. It's nice to be a part of a group that cares so much about their academics. And because that's you know that's the reason you're up here. You're up here for school. You're up here to go. To, you're up here to go to class. You're up here to learn. I'm majoring in media arts, and I have a huge interest for it. And I feel like New York's New York's the right place to do that. Here at LIU, the kids have a great opportunity. Number one, obviously, to get a great education. Then the opportunity to be going into the pros. Uh, there's the MLS draft, obviously Major League Soccer. Uh, they can go into USISL League, which is sort of like a second division, PDL teams. Uh, there's many opportunities for them. Well, Brooklyn Knights is, um, is a team where we're scouting uh, with the PD in the PDL League, where we're scouting a player, mostly of uh, college, uh, college players, uh, where we give them the opportunity and the chance to become professional. Today is, uh, is my last tryout, my last PDL tryout. Like you see, we have also the reserve U20 PDL tryout, and uh, they, they almost finish it. And we will, we will have at two o'clock. We have the last tryout to where we hope to find some new talent and put them in the squad. I hope today to find in the quantity to find the quality player. Today uh, we just had our alumni game uh, here at Long Island University, our men's soccer uh, varsity team, Division I program against our alumni that have uh, played in the last 10 years. It's neat to see several of our guys are still playing at a high level. Um, one in particular, uh, David Schofield, uh, who played here for, for three years and, and had a terrific career, graduated in in less than four years. He's currently playing uh, professionally in Pennsylvania for Harris City Islanders and uh, who won the national championship recently. Anyone who wants to play at that, that next level up, you've got to do a little bit extra on your own because it is, it is a step up in level. Um, so if, if that's what you want to do, make sure you're in top shape, you're, you're, you know, your fitness is, and is real good. And then also, you know, if you've not spoke to any coaches or um, anything in the professional team, start getting in touch with people and see what the opportunities are out there. You know, not everybody plays professionally, obviously. You know, there's only a handful that play professionally. Just like only a handful play Division One soccer in this country, where the rest play maybe uh, club ball or just recreational ball. I'd love to play professional one day. That'd be great, you know, but my primary focus right now is uh, pursuing a career in, you know, in film. And um, there's guys on the team who are really pushing to go you want to play professional? I definitely feel like pursuing a professional career. I've been playing this game all my life. And I feel like if you're going to do something, why not try to do it to the highest level possible? You know, there's, you, you got to try at least, you know, put in the effort to see how far you can go. I definitely have the passion and the love for the game that, you know, I feel like uh, I want to take it to that level. You know, I can't stop now because I know if I, if I stop playing now, I'll regret it. So basically what my plan to do now is to see where I can go professionally and um, take a couple years to uh, sort that out. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV. 